Hey, real quick, someone said I can etch acrylic by using dry erase markers as a stencil. Let's find out if that works. I started by heading out to the garage and using my trusty little table jig to cut a few inch and a half square pieces of acrylic. I ordered this acrylic on Amazon. I also got this little tool on Amazon. I cut several pieces because I'm not very good at anything and so I needed a lot of room to fail. Once that was done, I tidied up and headed inside, plugged in my lights so that I could work, and just started scribbling on a piece of acrylic with a dry erase marker. The problem I was running into was that as I tried to get a nice even coating over the acrylic, the marker would just erase what I had already written. Um, so it was pretty frustrating, and I was really doubting that this was even possible. Finally, I thought I'd just go get a permanent marker and use that instead. I figured I could worry about cleaning it off later. But even with the permanent marker, I was having trouble getting anything to write at all. I peeled off the protective coating on the acrylic. That worked better. I tried to dry it up and go over it again to get a nice, good coating, but I ran into the same problem of erasing what I'd already drawn. So I gave up and just said, let's do it. Plugged in the machine, lined up the acrylic, started etching. One problem I've been having more and more often with this machine is that it will stop etching right in the middle of a project. I don't know what's causing that, but I'm not hooked up to a computer here, so I know it's got to be something with the software on the machine itself. After it stopped mid-project, I went ahead and took a look, and I was actually really impressed with how well that was working. So I put it back in and tried again to see if I could get a complete pass of the entire project. It ran for a while and when I came back... Oh my noun, it worked. I didn't think erasing with the dry erase eraser. I didn't think erasing with a dry mark. I didn't think erasing with a dry erase marker eraser would work, and it didn't. So I went to the old technique where you just draw right over permanent marker with dry erase marker, and then erase it as you would normally. It smeared marker onto the etching, so I had to grab some alcohol and scrub it off, but that took right care of it. What was left was a really nice etching. I was impressed. It didn't even mess up the back of the acrylic. I had thought the laser might burn through and mess up the back of the acrylic as well, but it didn't. Everything came out perfectly. I feel like this is a winner. 
next time I need to etch acrylic, I know how I'll do it. Oh my noun.